Hello, everyone. Uh, can you help me? And can you see, see my screen? Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this lab session. I'm uh, Chen Zhang, and uh, this is my email address. Uh, today, I will talk about uh, the super block which define the file system metadata. And uh, uh, let's start now. Okay, firstly, let me introduce the goal of this lab and uh, the lab five uh, in next week. So these two labs will provide you some prelogies to help you to understand a project. And in this sem semester, you will be asked to uh, implement some basic functions of a simple file system, the SFS. So these two labs, this lab four and uh, lab five will give you some prelogy. And uh, so we will not have the homework for these two labs and uh, uh, we will have a project uh, so firstly, uh, let me introduce some background of the super block. As you know, the file system, uh, we have metadata region and the data region. And uh, on the disk, is implemented like this way. And uh, we have two regions, the metadata region and the data region. And uh, uh, today we focus on the metadata region and the inside the metadata region, we have two very important data structure, the soup block and the inodes. So in today's lab, we will talk about the first uh, important uh, metadata, the super block. And uh, in level five, we will talk about the inode. And the super block is the first block uh, in after the boot sector in the metadata region. And the super block, it describes the basic uh, information of the host file system. So for example, where are the inode begins and where are the data block begins, the offset of these regions and what is the block size and uh, a lot of metadata of the whole file system. So this is a typical data structure of super block. You can see we have several parameters inside this data structure. Let, let me introduce these parameters one by one. Firstly, the inode offset. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I've, I, inode offset defined the start position of the inodes. You can see which is this one the start position of the inode region. And then the data block offset, which is similar with this one, but it defined the start position of the data blocks. And then in this figure, it shows this one. And the max inode and the max data block, these two parameters define the maximal number of inode and the maximal number of data blocks. And these two, these two parameters, the lex available inode and the lex available data block, these two parameters define the index of the lex free inode and <coughs> lex free data block. And finally, the block size, which define the size of the data block. So this, this one is very important because uh, we usually use this block size to get, uh, every time we read, read data from the disk, we will read uh, a total data block. So the block size is very important and used very frequently when you re read from the hard disk. So specifically for our simple file system, the SFS, which will be used in our project, uh, the parameters are defined in this figure. And specifically for the soup block, the offset is uh, 
one megabyte, uh, one zero two four, is from one megabyte, and the inode region, uh, is from two zero four eight. And uh, for the data block, it starts from 10 megabytes. And the, the block size, you can say for each data block is four, k four kilobytes. Uh, yeah, uh, this one is one, one kilobyte. Uh, I make a mistake, it's no mega, it's one kilobyte. And then uh, this is what we defined in the soup block uh, dot C. And uh, you can use these parameters to, to access this, uh, this numbers. For example, you can use the super block offset, which is uh, one kilobyte to access the offset of the soup block. And the I node offset is two kilobyte and the uh, data block offset is 10 megabytes and the uh, max ILO number is 100. So at most we can have 100 ILOs and uh, the maximal data blocks is uh, 225, 600. And uh, the block size is uh, four kilobytes. Okay, so that's are some background and the basic information about the soup block. So after this slide, you uh, you should know that for the soup block is the first uh, metadata block after the boot sector, and it defines the metadata of the whole file system. For example, where the uh, I know begins, where the data block begins. So you can say we have several parameters here. So after you get the soup block, you can get the metadata of the whole file system. So after that, when we, so when we want to access a specific file system, for example, the simple file system, the first step is to read the soup block from the hard disk and the load of the soup block region into the memory and the initialize a soup block entity. And after that, we can get the basic information of the SFS. And then we can, uh, in the project, you will be asked to implement these two basic functions. The first one is read, and the second one is open. So this one, uh, the open means we will give you uh, some parameters, and you use this parameter to open a specific file. And after that, you should read some data from that file. Okay, so for today's lab, we have implement a simple uh, soup block dot C, a simple C program to display the to display the soup block from the hard disk, and uh, let's see what what is actually stored in the soup block and. Uh, how it is stored on the hard disk. So in this simple C program, we have provided uh, several several uh, files, and uh, you can download this zip file from the Blackboard. After you unzip it, you can get uh, these four files. Let me introduce these four files. Firstly, this HD, the HD means the hard disk, so you can uh you can you cannot directly open it. It's a binary file, so it is used to simulate the hard disk. And uh, for this HD, we have properly initialized a file system and uh, load some data into it. So you don't need to worry about this file. So you just uh, use these C programs to read from this this simulation file. Okay, so this is the Hadix simulation file, and then this these three programs are used to read from this simulation file. 
Firstly, the subblock.h, this header file, it defined the data structure of the subblock and some related parameters. And uh, then we give you a C program, the subblock.c. It implement uh, several functions to read from this hard disk. And finally, we give you a subblock test C program. It contains two test cases, and uh, which will show the subblock region on the hard disk and also display the information after we read from the hard disk into the memory. Okay. So uh, you can download the, this zip file from the Blackboard. And uh, after you download it, you can get this C, this four files and uh, you can directly run in in that directory or you copy these four files into your current directory and then you can compile it like this way uh, use the gcc compile function and uh, use this two c program the subblock test then subblock and uh, the output uh, uh, executable file is this one subblock test and then you can just run this uh, executable file, the super test, by using this uh, HD, the hard disk simulation file. Okay, so after you run it, you can get this, you will see this displayed on your uh, virtual machine. You can say we have two test cases. And uh, for the first test case, we read the subblock region from the hard disk into the memory, and uh, we display the subblock information here. You can see we inside the subblock we have seven parameters: the inner offset, data block offset, maximal ILO, maximal data block, uh, lex available inner, lex available data block, and the block size. And uh, you can see what's the specific number we used in the SLS, and. Uh, the second test case show the subblock region on the hard disk, and uh, it is displayed in a hexadecimal uh, form. You can see this is we actually stored on the hard disk. And uh, for example, the inner offset actually is uh, two kilobytes, so it's twenty forty eight. So you can use a calculator to transform this integer to the hexadecimal is uh, two zero, uh, eight zero zero. So you can say we actually stored in this in zero eight zero zero. So each line of the from the case one is uh, related to the to the same line in the case two. So you can compile them and say how we store the subblock on the hard disk. Okay. And uh, finally, I will give you some uh, uh, idea about uh, how we implement this subblock. So this is important because in the, in the project, you will be asked to, to implement the read function and open function. So the first step you should implement is the sub block so you should read the sub block from the hard disk so let's see how to implement this read the sub block function so for the read sub block we will firstly uh, malloc uh, uh, allocate a space in the memory and then read the sub block region into the memory and then we form an entity of the sub block data structure and uh, finally we return the pointer of this entity. So for more detailed information, I will yeah, I will do the do the experiment in the last step and I show how we implement this function. Okay, so this is all about the slides. So let's let me do the experiment together with you and show how we implement this in the C program. Let me show the virtual machine. Okay, can you see my uh, virtual machine?
Okay, so after you, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, so after you download this zip file from the Blackboard, the program, you will see this, these four files, these four files. And then you can, you can uh, compile it, use this GCC uh, sublog sublog test and then with the sublog test the C program and the sublog dot Yeah, and after you compile it, you will get this this file, the sublog test, which is a, a binary file and is is the executable file. And you can just run it by using this this command. And then, yeah, if you don't include the hard disk, uh, you cannot run it. So you should uh, include the hard disk simulation file here. Okay. And after you run it, you will get this displayed on your terminal. And yeah, you can say we display two test cases. And the first test case showed uh, uh, after we read the super region from the hard disk. And uh, this is what we stored in the soup block, and this is what we stored on the hard disk. Uh, I have explained this. So this is the uh, integer representation, and this is the uh, hexadecimal representation. So this 20, 2048, if you transfer from the integer to the hexadecimal, it's 08, uh, 0800. And this one, you, you will get this. And uh, this one, 100, you'll get this. So this is the result. And so let's, let's see how we implement this. Firstly, this one, the subblock.h. You can say inside this header file, we have defined these parameters. These are, are some um, macro parameters. So you can use this, use this uh, macro define to represent this one. So you can directly use subblock offset to represent this uh, one kilobyte and the inner offset you can directly use this one and uh, it represented two kilobytes. Okay. And then we have a data structure. This is the soup block data structure. And uh, you can say this are, uh, uh, each parameter is defined as an integer. And then we have three functions, read soup block, print to print the function. Okay. So this is the head file. And then inside the soup block C, you can say we implemented these three functions, the read soup block and the print. Actually, the most important one is this one, the read soup block. And uh, let me ex explain this one. So you can say the parameter is the FD. FD means the uh, file descriptor. So when you use this read function, you should, you should the FD is the file descriptor of the hard disk simulation file. So you should send the hard disk simulation files FD as the parameter. And then inside this program, uh, this function, firstly, you can say we use the malloc. This function means, uh, malloc means memory alloc allocation. So we firstly allocate a memory which uh, whose size is a uh, soup block size. So after this, we get a memory region in the, in the memory and the size is the soup block size. And uh, the pointer is this one, the, uh, the soup block. And then this one, this is first, first step, we allocate a space in the memory. And the second step, you can say we use lseq. lseq is a function to uh, move the move the uh, position to a to a file, uh, from a file to a specific position. 
you can say the parameter is the FD. FD means the file descriptor of the hard disk. So we move the position from the hard disk to this position, the supra offset. Okay. So after this function, we move the position from the beginning to the subblock offset. So this is a, a arrow. So if if it this function return arrow, so we will print an arrow. So this this is not important. And after this, L6 is followed by a read function. So the read means we read from the hard disk, the FD is the file descriptor of the hard disk manager file. So we read from this hard disk and uh, we read into this position, the SB. The SB, you can say, is the pointer of the uh, memory space we have just allocated. So after this function, we read from the hard disk manager file into the subblock pointer and uh, the size is the subblock size, okay? And this is, uh, after that, we do some uh, error checking. So if, if no error, we will return the SB. SB means uh, the pointer of this space. So after this function, we read the subblock from the hard disk simulate file into this position, okay? So these two functions are very, uh, very simple. So print SB fun you can say we just uh, print 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 the parameters allo offset, data offset, maximum allo of the from the this sub block pointer. So this is simple. And finally, the print SB region, you can say how we implement this. So the FD is the file descriptor of the hard disk simulation file. And after we enter it, we firstly, the first step is also create a buffer. You can say we create an unsigned integer type buffer, which size is the sub block divided by four. So why we divided by four is because uh, the integer for 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 this virtual machine, the x u band two, an integer is thirty two bytes, a uh, thirty two bits. So for the buffer, because it's a unsigned integer, actually is is a char, a character. So each character is eight bits. So we should uh, divide it by four. So thirty two divided by four is eight. So this is why we, we use this sentence. And then after that, we used L6. Yeah, this is the same as this one. So we move the position from the hard disk simulation file to the super offset, and then we read it. We use this read function to read it to the uh, buffer. And then we just uh, print it. Okay, so and the finally the subplot test, you can say we, it's very simple. So we just uh, call these two functions, read SB and the print SB information. Okay. So after you run it, you will get this result. Okay. So let's go off today's lab. Uh, because these two, two labs, the lab four and the, uh, the lab five in next week, uh, are some prelogies we give you the information about uh soup block and the inode and uh, tell you how to use this to metadata to to implement uh the project so we don't have homework for these two labs okay so that's all of today's lab if you have any question you can ask me now what is the due date uh is it's the end of this semester. So I think it should be there. Uh, April is should be, yeah. You can say the teaching plan. It should be the last week of this semester. It should be, I think it should be uh, the end of the April. Okay.
uh, so the allocated memory is not free. Uh, yes, you can. Yes, actually, if you for safety, you should uh, free it. But uh, yeah, this is just a simple, simple uh, test function. So don't free it. So if you, for the safety, you should be free. Okay.